Hey everybody. Uh, I am back. It is the 23rd of December. So here we are. Alright. What we got. I already. I did one. Uh, one light. And ran the. Ran the wires. Uh, for the. Lantern. That goes back here. So I can't hook a light up to it. Until I get to the. You know that point uh, but got both of these uh, put in and done and then I <clears throat> uh, hot glued all the wires down so they didn't get in the way of anything and we're gonna be working on <clears throat> that light right there so I'll show you kind of what's going on and I'll give you an update on uh, on what I decide to do. So I'm go not going to be using the battery pack. I am going to use the... Uh, I'm, I, I got a pack of these. There's like five of them, I think. So it takes a 5.5 by 2.1, I believe, uh, plug. And then, since this is just a 3-volt system... I got a uh, got one of these that you can adjust it from three all the way up to twelve volts. So I got it set at three, and I did uh, test it out and everything on the you know with the, the two there, and uh, you know because they're in um, uh, parallel and not in series. So they they both work fine. There's not a you know uh, any kind of a voltage drop or anything. They they both work just fine. So I can hook up you know the there'll be four lights on the boat and then two on the base. And uh, this is the size of the. The, the, the plug 5.5 by well 5.5 this way and 2.1 this way so that's that's uh, what I'm doing on that this little thing will be in the base It'll be on the back side of the base so let me get the base up here I just kind of put this together you know, uh, just temporarily. It's not. It's not glued or anything to that nature. So I figured I'd have this. You know, drill a hole right here on the on the back side. Have this coming through right here. And then that way I can get it. I just got to figure out a way to. <clears throat> a way to mount something so the, the boat's not attached to this permanently. So if you have any kind of uh, idea or anything to that nature, you know, on, on, on that, on what I could do with this, uh, you know, it's, it, whether it's a like a spring type of contact with a little pin or something right here. I mean, I just bring, you know, two wires down and, uh, you know, somehow make it to where it's, it's just got a contact point on each end. And it's something I'm thinking about. Now, if you come up with anything different or you got an idea about something that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, might work, uh, just, to, you know, uh, drop, drop a comment and let me know, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not one to shy away from, uh, any kind of help from anyone. So, with that being said, I set that over there on the side. 
move these little baggies around. And this is my uh, solder station here. I currently got it set to 550 degrees and it seems to be um, just fine. So, what we're going to do here, take out one of these. These are the flicker kind. There's like 11 or 12 of them. And then four of the ones that don't flicker. And those two of those will be in the in the in the stand. Uh, there's a little box that you have to build and uh, paint the inside of it and everything. So, all right. So we got this little LED here. If you can see it right there. Uh, like I said, the short leg is the negative. The long leg is the positive. So pretty simple. They 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 make it pretty uh, pretty simple. So all I'm doing is just putting it in that alligator clip like that. I could probably do the other side too, but it kind of tends to hold on. These little these wires are a little bitty, so it's uh, probably a little bit better. do with these anyways so it, it, it kind of holds on to this this little b wire a lot a lot better so that's a that's a little b wire it's it's bigger than a hair but not by much and it's braided it's not a solid wire it's crazy so anyways now well, let's see uh I'm going to be trimming a lot of those wires down. This one doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be, but about. Maybe six inches long. And then we'll go. Go about 20. Five millimeters. I normally don't do a whole hell of a lot with millimeters, but this little scale thing here is uh, pretty simple to to use. So it's uh, it's just like right here. just a rough guesstimate I'm not not gonna be my uh, my uh, normal OCD type of self on uh, measurements and whatnot I'm not working with uh, wood or metal or anything of that nature so so I got the long one on there. So there's the black wire. And these things are pretty easy to strip. You really don't need to, um, you know, a wire stripper. <laughs> Unless you don't have any fingernails. <coughs> put my hat down I gotta get gotta get my magnifiers going here so I can see what I'm doing this stuff is way too small and I'm way too old so you'll probably see me get down in here so bear with me for a minute let me get this stuff
done there. Make sure my make sure my tip is all. Yeah, it is warm enough. All right. So. Put a little bit of solder on there. And put some on the wire. There you go. And you just kind of make sure they're touching right there. That's all there is. That's all it takes right there. I got that uh, soldering station off of uh, Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, 30 or 40, 50 bucks, somewhere around in there. But what I can say is that uh, it heats up in a hurry. Heats up in a hurry and it has these little fingers and everything. It's, it's pretty nice. I like it. All right. There's a little bit of a bump there on that wire. We're going to get it to lay down just a little bit if we can. my tip off already All right. I'm probably just gonna mess this up black wire hooked up here or set up anyways familiar with this kind of stuff this is called tinning tinning your wire this off, scoot it back, alright, now that it's out of the way, 
So this is what you this is what you end up with. Let me see if if it comes through all right. There you go. So that's how it is right there. And then all you do is find the end of the line. Run a piece of this heat shrink up through there. Down on it. There you go. You don't have to run it all the way up. But it's not going to hurt anything if you do. You can run it all the way up to the light. I mean, it's not going to be seen or anything. You know, it's just extra protection. Gotta get these. On uh, everything before we start doing the the, the you know sealing the hole up, wiping the hole. Otherwise, you won't be able to. <clears throat> do any of this. Right. A little on the warm side there. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh. I'll plug in the uh, my wife's little. Uh, I need a uh, hot glue gun. <laughs> Actually, it's come in very handy. see that or not. Let's see if you can. Yeah, you kind of can in a way. Although there's a, a rib right in the way. There you go. Well, I don't know how to get it to where you can sit there. Okay, there's, there it is. You can see it now. So we're waiting on the uh, glue gun to get heated up and everything. Um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I hope uh, hope everybody's got uh, got things planned to uh, you know do and uh, you know spend time with family and whatnot. This is the time of year to do it. Parents and in-laws found out yesterday. My yesterday that my dad had uh, surgery on his knee. Had a couple of tears, two tears in the meniscus. Hope I said that right. <laughs> I am not a doctor, but I've got a daughter that is a RN. So there we go. Anyways, so you stick it in there, try and maneuver this little bitty thing in here and just load it up. This stuff goes everywhere. And I think I need a new stick. That stick, well, it's, it's still in there, but there we go. I don't know if this thing will do that away. See if I can 
get this in here. Stuff is stringy. It hardens up. It's uh, pretty cool stuff. Anyways, of course it gets on your fingers. Well, it's there, anyways. Spring clamps. Take both these wires. Try to do this without pulling anything apart. That's the easiest of jobs. Hope my arm's not blocking anything. Bastard holds it down pretty good. I didn't get them nice and even. There. Now we're cooking with Crisco. over. That's hot.
You know what I mean? You get this little Spider-Man stuff all over the place. Reminds me of this stuff that whenever I was a kid, Spider-Man was big and of course it was the, you know, the TV version. They didn't have the movies or anything back then. And, uh, they had this stuff at uh, TGMY, uh, which is, uh, well, I don't know how far TGMY went. I don't, I don't think it was anywhere like a Walmart or anything is now. But uh, we had one here in town, TGMY. It was way before Walmart. And uh, they had this stuff in there. You could buy this this uh, Spider-Man. Oh, it was a thing to fit on your wrist, and it had this ball of stuff that it just it spurted it out and everything. You know, I mean, it it just went everywhere, <laughs> and it was kind of like kind of like a hot glue gun in here. Uh, once you, you know, pull it away and everything, all those little tendrils and whatnot go everywhere. I'm on here. I'm on that. Okay. So, that's all there is. Uh, just wanted to show you what, you know, What I did on the rest of that and everything. And you know what? I guess I could hook everything up. And, uh, show you how that plug in works. I can do that. There we go. A little bit more. And of those. Oh, let's see. So we got those two, and we got this and this from over here. I need to come over to this other side. It won't take long to do this, I promise y'all. And if so, I can edit this all out. If, if need be, if the video goes too long. Alright. Got those and this. Strip these loose, or there's one. Mm -mm. There we go. Two. All right. So we should have three reds and three blacks. together where's the third one at there it is Get all these reds together Well, I got a little bit of weather today. Just some rain, but nonetheless, it's still weather. I mean, it's just rain, no storms or nothing. 
And it was kind of nice today to walk outside without a jacket on. You, know, you can't right now, but earlier today, it was like 65, which is, for Oklahoma, that's just crazy. I mean, crazy, crazy. Usually about this time of year, it's it's there's snow on the ground. Sometimes. Not all the time, anyways. Okay. Now, if you do one of these, and you do the, uh, the, the light kit, or if you're doing a light kit on anything, really, the power switch always goes on the positive side. Between the between the lights and your power source, so you don't need it on the ground side. There's nothing ever there. If that makes any sense. There is now. Sure, they ain't touching. Just not gonna unplug this. I don't need it right now. Plug this in. Hook this up. be like that. How's that look? See if that's, oh, shit. Mm. Hang on a minute. Let me hook this back up. There we go. Look pretty cool at night, I think. You know, of course, there'll be one right here, you know, but yeah, I like the way they flicker, like it's like it's a, a gas lamp or, or a, uh, or an oil lamp. I guess it could be an oil lamp and all that. Well, I just saw I got. 35 minutes on there on this video 
I don't have a, I don't have any kind of, well, I do have a way of editing, but I'm going to, I'm just using my phone. You know, I don't have a camera. I don't have an expensive setup. It's just me and my phone. And I got a plugged in little cheap uh, microphone. I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing it works okay. I don't know. Most people's uh, um, oh, view times are <laughs> it's only like about a minute long. You know, for average and everything. So, I don't think everybody's watching all the way to the end. But, hey, if you are, I appreciate it. And if you're not, then, well, that's, you know, this isn't for you. It's not a Budweiser commercial, so can't say that this Bud's for you. Anyways. All right. Well, that's all there is in this one. I know it's not a whole lot, and it's not exciting, and... All that kind of stuff. I mean, it's kind of exciting to me, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that's just me. Uh, but I can say, you know, I've, I've got that Beagle, uh, HMS Beagle to build. And uh, I didn't get a light kit for it, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. Because I can do the same setup, because I've still got, you know, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Well, I'll have five. I'll have five left over. You know? Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'll have, I'll have six left over. So I can do this on the, uh, on the Beagle. Now, I don't know if there's anything... You know, I may have to make some spots or something for it because I don't think it's really set up kind of like this one is to, to do that with. But, you know, we'll look, see. And, uh, but, you know, that's not until I get on it. All right. Well, by the next time I make a video, it'll be after Christmas. Uh, I got a lot to do around the house uh, tomorrow. Get ready for family and everybody on Monday so uh, of course we're just doing the dinner and then obviously tomorrow we're doing presents and whatnot over at my in-laws and all that good stuff uh, uh, what do they call that uh, uh, dirty Santa or something like that I, I don't know uh, yeah whatever <laughs> Whatever, whatever they they call that, you know, deal. Where, yeah, dirty Santa. Get a get a present and it can be stolen or whatever, you know. Two times stolen, then it's frozen and whatnot, and all those kind of games. So, if you've never done one, it's 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 kind of fun, depending on the people you're with. Family members, members, you really can't get, you know, risque on the gifts. Well, I, I guess you could. It depends on the family member, I guess, you know. <coughs> but as far as my in-laws and my mom goes, nah, that ain't going to happen. Um, anyways, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. And uh, this will be the last one till at least after Christmas. And then... Um, you know, we'll, by the time the next one rolls around, I will try to have the, uh, the, the stand and the boat thing issue figured out and, uh, should have all this, um, cleaned up to where it's, you know, coming out in the spots where it's going to be sitting on the boat. So... Or on the, uh, where the ship's going to be sitting on the, the, the stand. <laughs> wow. Uh, it must be late. I'm, uh, rattling on. Anyways, uh, so, you know, and we'll start, uh, doing the, um, the planking on the side, you know, for the hull. The whole planking. 
So it's, we'll have some bending going on and and uh, and more than likely, I will be. I don't know, it may not be this size, but I've got this little uh, uh, hand drill type deal. So I'll probably be going down through the boards and into these ribs, you know, and making a, well, I, no, I, I won't either because there's no, there's no nails on this one. So I won't be doing that. Uh, I'll figure something out. Uh, I may have some little, I may, you know what? I do have some nails. And also, uh, on this particular boat, they didn't send a, uh, which most of them do, send those little walnut or uh, sapoli veneers to put on the, you know, on the bottom side. They didn't in this one. They, they, they want the bottom of it painted white. I've actually got, I've actually got, an extra set of the walnut or uh, I don't know if that's walnut or if it's uh, I think it is walnut but the the veneer that would cover this hull you know so let me know if that's something that uh, you think I ought to do instead of painting it white I, I think this stuff looks really good whenever it's uh uh, whenever it's been uh, varnished and everything, sanded and varnished and and all that, you know, it's it's a, it's a very very makes for a very pretty boat ship. Excuse me, gotta quit doing that. Anyways, everybody uh, have a merry Christmas, and uh, if I don't post a video before the first of the year. Uh, everybody have a happy new year. Uh, stay safe. Um, spend time with your families and, and, uh, just, you know, stay safe anyways, everybody. I mean, I, I don't know you from Adam, but, it's, you know, well, there's one person I do know that's, that may or may not watch this. Junior, you know. And, uh, Junior, if you are listening, stay safe, buddy. All right. Everybody, thanks for watching. And, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if, uh, you're new. If you haven't subscribed. Or if you haven't liked. Uh, just whatever. Whatever you want to do. All right. Thank you.